Did somebody say summer smoothies? No, you didn't say that? Okay, well, I hope you stick around because I have created some summer smoothies that will help you beat the heat, taste refreshing, and feel like a sweet treat. Whether you're chatting and having a great time at a backyard barbecue or trying to recover after a really hard workout, maybe you're even just vibing in the summer sunshine, I've got a smoothie recipe for you. Let's start off by chopping up our Ontario fresh strawberries, but you know what, I have a faster way to do this. Done! Move those aside and we're going to use them in a later recipe. Clean up your surface, we don't want to make a mess after all, do we? Next, we have bananas. Chop those in half and we're going to clean them up and peel them. Now, if you hate bananas, just get rid of them. <laughs> but if you do like them, feel free to add more banana than what I'm using. For this smoothie, I'm going to focus on frozen fruit. That way you can have it year round. Start off by adding a third of a cup of frozen pineapple into the blender cup. Follow that up with a quarter cup of frozen mango, a generous squeeze of lime if you like the acidity like I do. Follow that up with a third of a cup of vanilla yogurt. I'm using the coconut yogurt, which is a dairy free option and one cup of orange juice. But maybe try and make sure that you get it all in the cup unlike what I did. Otherwise, you're going to be left with a lot of cleanup and that's just frustrating. Slap a lid on that and we're going to blend it really well until everything is smooth and creamy. Oh my goodness, into a chilled glass. Look at this smoothie. We're gonna top this off nicely with a piece of pineapple, as well as a piece of mango, and of course, a little umbrella. It is so cute, so fancy. Don't forget that straw. Here comes our next recipe. We have a quarter of a cup of frozen blueberries and half a banana. I like to break mine up just to make it fit better. Follow that up with a quarter cup of frozen mangoes, get all of that in there, as well as a third cup of vanilla yogurt. Of course, we're going back, we need something creamy. And one cup of orange juice. Do I do a better job getting it all into the cup? You bet I do. Go ahead and slap a lid on, and we are going to blend this up nicely. Wow, look at that color, so beautiful. Pour this into a glass with a different fancy camera angle. Fill this all the way up. Top it with some shredded coconut like so. And as well a frozen blueberry because it's a blueberry based smoothie after all. And because you're fancy a piece of mint leaf. And it's wonderful and tasty. Now time for my favorite smoothie. We're gonna take one whole banana and break that up. Throw that in the bottom of the blender. You remember these? fresh strawberries from earlier. Well, we're gonna add those in because we're making a strawberry banana smoothie. Classic, but I'm gonna add my third of a cup of vanilla yogurt again as always, plus another round, another chance with the one cup of orange juice. Let's see, do I get it in this time? Mostly. <laughs> I'm getting better, I promise. Go ahead and blend that all up. Uh, maybe if I can get the lid on. Okay, here we go. Yep, there we go. Got it. All right, blend it all up. And we're going to pour it into another chilled glass like so. Such a pretty soft pink color. Fill that up. We're going to garnish again with a strawberry and with a piece of banana as well as a mint leaf and top everything off until it's perfect. Whether or not you're celebrating outside on the patio or just enjoying a relaxing moment in your backyard or on your balcony, I really hope that you enjoy these summer smoothies, take some inspiration, and create your magnificent summer smoothies at home. Until next time, take care. Bye!